Welcome back to part two, showcasing my LED lighting addiction. This time we're going with the Members Mark Sam's Club branded Prismatic Christmas Stuff. Now I'm doing Christmas stuff in September, mainly because last year these things sold out and being scalped everywhere. And of course that same thing is slowly happening now. So I want to get the jump on them and hopefully get as much as I wanted from my yard ahead of time. This was supposed to be a one part video, but as you can see, doing some of these things has taken a lot longer than we thought. We thought maybe 40 minutes of filming. We were down here almost two hours, mainly because putting these bulbs together was actually a pain in the butt. The good news was the snowflakes were easy, and the good news is it's going to be worth it because these things look absolutely fantastic, even in full light. Now, I was going to do the snowman next, but for this part two, we'll do the Christmas tree instead. I feel like tonight I can get the Christmas tree done. So let's go through this, unbox it, put it together, and then see what it looks like when it's all said and done. Judging by this stuff over here, I think it's going to look great. Now, those of you in the last video might have noticed that my uh, box cutter here not really doing a great job. And I realized that the last time I changed the blade on this, I worked for Best Buy's warehouse and that was around 11 years ago. And before that, the last time I changed the blade was when I worked for Tops. So for those of you from Northeast Ohio or New York might remember that one. <sighs> okay, it's easy to get off in the last one. Now the top of this, we should have tie downs, instructions, if anything. All right, so this is where the fun starts. You think to yourself, I opened the box up and it's gonna be easy to go from there. No, 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 it's somehow stuck in this outer box. So I'm gonna be very careful, put my blade out a little bit. I'm gonna cut through the sides here so I can just pop open the back of it because I'm not gonna sit here for 15 minutes and struggle. Oh yeah, that's a nightmare. Okay. I don't know what that looks like on camera, but to me that looks like a whole lot of not fun already. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, tree base inside. So I guess I'm just gonna take my snowman table here, just to make it easier on my back, lift it up and start unboxing the whole thing. This is gonna be a process. There's a lot of stuff here. Now that I have a sharp blade, I have to really watch to make sure I don't cut any wires. So tree paste and spare parts inside, okay. But it's taped to something that's taped to something that's taped to something. Okay, empty, empty. Good signs already. Tree base inside, okay. So, part of the base. Now, the fun part is that these two look like you'll have to take and peel off all the plastic that's protecting it. Now, I'm glad they thought to protect it, but this takes a while, and you can't get it perfect unless you take the whole thing apart. And I mean the whole thing, cut all the zip ties and redo them all. So, not great design, Sam's Club. We got our instructions, we got our hardware bin, and I'm gonna read these very carefully this time because we probably doubled the amount of time that we needed on those bulbs because we really didn't read the instructions too closely. This looks like our base. And then we have these pieces here. Now I'm gonna take them out, show them to you, and then we're gonna cut away for a while because this is gonna take a long time. There is one piece. And then we have, oh, this looks like the tree top right here. Oh, that looks cool. My kids are gonna absolutely love this Christmas tree. Another good size piece here. This is where the power is, so. Probably is important. A lot of pieces in this, and uh, the more pieces I pull out, the less I'm looking forward to building this. That's that's a lot of pieces so far. We're not we're not done. Two more. Who thought this would be an easier build than Snowman? Was that me? <laughs> I'm not smart, am I? There's another piece. Oh gosh, it's gonna be harder to tell. Oh it's no, the worst thing about this <laughs> is gonna be taking all the plastic coating off those. Oh. I'm sure the website probably mentions that. Okay, the star, the star looks like it doesn't have a protective coat, so that's um, that's one thing. We're not done yet, <laughs> we're not done. We'll just make a quick video tonight. How long could it possibly take? We're gonna be down here until nine o'clock building this thing. I think this is the last piece. And much like the last stuff we built from Sam's Club, it's either gonna go very smoothly or you're gonna realize why precision machining makes all the difference in life. If there's one thing that these particular pieces have not been, it's machined well. Holes that you have to line up and screw things that are misaligned. Tools aren't the right size, screws aren't the right size. But again, it's Walmart, it's Sam's Club, what do I expect? Here's my punishment for the next hour. So we're gonna do some time travel and you'll see us halfway through assembling probably. And then at the end, you'll see the whole thing fully assembled. I'll complain about how long it took. And I'll tell you how much I swore at this thing trying to get it together right. So stay tuned and we'll see you soon. So far about 15 minutes into this endeavor, and it's not the worst thing in the world. In fact, those decorative bulbs were way worse. We got all of the plastic wrap off of the pieces pretty quickly, actually. That was surprising. I'm somehow out of breath because I'm fat and old and I just ate dinner. 
but here's how it's coming together already. This is much easier. It's still not precision based, but the instructions make more sense. My advice is if you're building this yourself, first off, don't grab a friend. Second off, read the instructions three or four times and really study the pieces before you put them together. This is going a lot smoother than most of the stuff we've built from Sam's Club. And I'm very happy with that. Now, that being said, I might have jinxed myself because we are just in the first layer of this, the first course of this. But if the rest of this goes together the same way, it'll be a much quicker experience than anything we did yesterday. That's for sure. So I'm going to flip this upside down. It is already actually. And then I believe the next part here is going to be putting this base on and then move on to the middle of the tree and we'll go from there. So stay tuned. We're almost there. It's not hard. The wire connectors are not hard to do, which is, you know, awkward. This should have been done first. I wasn't reading the instructions. It's like I'm starting to see how it goes exactly. So you do that thing where you start skipping instructions. You probably shouldn't because I can see what this is going to happen. There's a hole here I got to line up with, I think, or maybe one over here. All right, let's see. I can see what's going to happen. I can see. I hope it happens that way. Where's those locator pens? That will help me. You gotta connect my wires internally. Oh, this is awkward. This is so awkward. These are both L5, right? Please say yes. Oh, thank God. So this tree didn't take us long to assemble at all. It makes a lot of sense. Everything goes together. And the hardware was pretty well tapped and easy to get to this time, as opposed to the last time it was just horrible. Taking the plastic off, still kind of a pain in the butt, but not nearly as bad as, again, those bulbs. This is what it looks like completely assembled. It's about six feet. I'm not six feet, by the way. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, this is the moment everyone's been waiting for, and I've been waiting for it too. Ever since I saw these last year, I said I had to have those. I'm going to put it right here so we're close to our power source. I'm going to kill the lights, and here we go. The big reveal. That's cool. How does that look? Does that look wintry and wondery enough for everyone? That is awesome. I'm not a huge fan of winter, but I gotta be honest, I'm excited for the day after Thanksgiving. Our yard is gonna look fantastic at night. I hope you enjoyed that build of the Members Mark Sam's Club Prismatic Christmas Tree, along with all of our prismatic stuff over here. I hope it translates on video, but this looks incredible like a winter wonderland. Stay tuned for part three, where we finally tackle that big prismatic snowman. We'll see you in the next one.